your grace and your mercy endures forever endeavor is your faithfulness praise you father you are good your grace and your mercy endures forever endeavor is your faithfulness hallelujah 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 father let your ruha be upon my lips let your ruha be upon the hearts of the receivers and the hearers of your word by the power that flows through Yahweh Elohim in the name of your son Yeshua HaMashiach Selah 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 I um, just want to obey <clears throat> real, real pressing in the in the spirit upon my heart upon my spirit and that is a certain word that is very important to the walk and that word is forgiveness you know Yeshua the disciples asked Yeshua Lord teach us how to pray and when he asked the disciples Lord teach us how to pray it was the disciples asking Yeshua how to pray because they saw him duck off and go away and go up to the mountain and go off uh, uh, into someplace distant and go and seclude himself all night a lot of times and pray all the time and he would come back with power and wisdom from above and so his disciples asked him hey look how should we pray because we want a piece of what you got right and uh, he said okay well this is how you pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Yahweh is your name right Yahweh is his name hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come and thy will be done we first must recognize that he is our father remember he's talking to the disciples he's not talking to outsiders he's not talking to the Gentile the Goyim he's not talking to these people he talks to his actual followers so it is correct when he says our father when he teaches them to pray our father who are in heaven he is above we are below this is why we must strive to through the spirit through obedience to to be in tune with above right he tells them he says our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name holy set apart sanctify is that name Yahweh Elohim hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven On earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and what forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen say la and so right there we see that number one he is teaching his disciples his followers to pray how to pray rather the 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 catalyst the format the the blueprint rather of how to pray and he tells them number one our father meaning we are together one body a unit mm -hmm. and he tells them forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us so right away he is teaching them that we must forgive each other now we can take multiple time and in 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 and throughout the whole brihada shah throughout the whole new testament as they call it um about forgiving one another and walking in love and that's one thing we must understand that at the end of the day this right here is a two-edged sword you know what it says in revelations out of his mouth came a two-edged sword hebrew says what two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing the son of soul and spirit so this word is a sword Okay, so it is meant to cut and divide once in a most means, right down to the bone and the marrow, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So those things that are not of Yah, those things that are that are of the own dictates of your heart, this word mm -hmm, is meant to cut that out with you. And let's all continue to stay in the word, to stay in prayer, to stay fasting, to stay seeking his face in worship and in praise, in all of these. But most of all, handle that sword on yourself to get what's not of him cut out of you. Now, the thing is, though, 
the pressing thing right now is forgiveness though forgiveness because what we have to realize is that the two as a sword also he comes down he says i have not come to bring peace but a sword and right now the time that we're living in for the kingdom of heaven is near the time that we're living in we are uh, uh what's happening is we are experiencing and seeing with our own eyes the sheep being separated from the goats the separation happening the separation happening we see the separation happening right now before our very eyes in our lives sometimes in our homes on the job out there when we walk on the street when we're doing the things we do um you know the sheep being separated from the goats on this on this internet stuff you know the sheep being separated from the goats so we're not talking about the goats right now though we're talking about the actual sheep and the sheep the ones who are part of the body should forgive one another because one thing about hell is that hell is for the fearful for the lustful many different attributes of a wicked person hell is made for matter of fact go check it out do your own research and prayer and, and seeking the ruhak seeking the spirit hell itself is built in many different uh, uh you know you ever heard that term there's a special place in hell for you yeah there is uh-huh mm -hmm. and so what we must understand that there's a special place in hell for people who have been caught up in unforgiveness in unforgiveness we must forgive one another we are part of the body we must walk in love and forgive one another why because our heavenly father has forgiven us let's read first corinthians chapter 12 but brothers i do not want you to go on being ignorant about the things of the spirit now we're going to talk about the things of the spirit things of the spirit the things of the spirit in part two 